Hello viewers and welcome to another GIMP how-to tutorial. I've had some complaints that I'm speaking too quietly, so I'm going to try and speak a little louder. So today I'll be teaching you how to mix images in GIMP, or cut sections of a photo out and paste them onto another. In the end, well you'll start with something like this, and in the end it should turn into something like, hold on, and it should turn into something like this. So, a dog with a Pokeball in its mouth, as opposed to a dog with a tennis ball in its mouth. So, first off, you want to open up GIMP. I already have mine open. And click File, Open. And open your background image. And I'm going to be using the dog. Dog with ball.jpg. Okay, so then you're going to click File file open as layers and open your pokeball or second image as a new layer now the links for both of these images will be in the video description so now you take your scale tool seeing as this pokeball is way too big for the picture and you're going to make sure that the chains over here are checked and scale down your entire image about that big click scale now we're going to move it over about where it should be and scale it some more and try and get it as exact as possible okay good now we're going to get rid of the white border around here so you're going to take your color picker tool which looks like a hand pointing to a red square and click on the white around your pokeball or well if you already have a cutout image then you can skip this part and you're going to take your ellipse select tool and set the tool options set the mode on subtract from the current selection it looks like a red square with a white square also and you're going to select roughly your pokeball and what this should do is it should re re remove all of the selections on the inside. So, yes, like that, something like that. And you're going to click Select, Grow, and Grow by one pixel. And I did a pretty bad do job of the selection, but that's not a really big deal here, because it's a tutorial. But do your best for the selecting, the ellipse selecting, subtracting from the selection. Now you're going to click edit, cut. And s the reason I did select shrink was, er, select grow, was so that we didn't get this white border when you click select none. But since I did a very bad subtract before, uh, we got it nonetheless. But if you do a good one before and then do select trick, you shouldn't have this white border around the side. So now what we want to do is, well, it's kind of optional, but um, you see if we move this into place, oh, I actually did a pretty good scaling job. If you move it into pr place, you'll see that if we cut out, when you s tone down the opacity, As you can see, if we keep it like this, when we cut it out, all we'll see is this big white part, and a bit of the red, and part of the button. Now, I want to see more of the button and more of the red, so that you can tell it's a Pokeball. So I'm going to take my rotate tool, and rot click on the image, and then rotate about like that, so that you get to see more of the red and button. Click rotate, and there you go. I'm going to turn up the opacity because that was just to show you. Now what we're going to do is right click on our Pokeball layer and click add layer mask and make sure it's set to white full opacity and click add. So what this does is now if we take our paintbrush tool the foreground is set to black. When we color on here it will erase this layer. Now I'm going to undo that 
The difference between this and the eraser tool is that if you erase with the eraser tool, you erase all of that, and then you realize you need some of it, what are you going to do? There's nothing you can do, right? But with the layer mask, now when you color, see you need some of it back, you just switch the color to white as your foreground, and you can get it right back. So I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to put it back to regular. And what we're going to do is we're going to tone the opacity down a bit so that we can see through it to the other image. And what we're going to do is take our uh, set our foreground color to black, make sure it's set on black, and we're going to erase everything that's on the dog and not on the ball. You're going to erase everything that's not on the tennis ball in your base image and everything that is on the dog. Every now and again you can raise the opacity of this layer to see what you have. You can always refill the stuff that you erase too much and change it to fuzzy brush if you want to be very exact for the edges. But I'm just going to do a rough job because it's, it's for the tutorial, not for beautiful artness. Um, so you get something like that in the end. So then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your Pokeball layer or your second layer and click apply layer mask and what this does is it sets it right back to your regular image so now if you paint with white it'll turn out white and the same if you paint with black and so now what we want to do is click colors brightness contrast and then tone down the bright tone up the brightness brightness a little bit and the contrast maybe just because this pokeball doesn't really match our base image so just to make it look like it matches a bit better going to do that and click OK. Now I'm going to go image, flatten image, and this merges all our layers together into one. It didn't turn out very well because it was a pretty fast job. Um, optionally you can go colors, brightness, contrast again, and tone down the brightness if you want, tone up the contrast, just to make it look a bit, a bit better. So then click OK and there you are, finished product. Subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching.